and welcome to the Wine Math Series. I'm Jenny Savitz, and in this video, we're going to be going over some calculations for sulfur dioxide additions. First, we'll do a brief explanation, and then we'll uh, hit on a couple of examples. If you want to go straight to in the example, you can uh, use the time point marker listed in the video description below. Otherwise, let's get started. So first, a quick background on sulfur dioxide. We're going to do a couple examples uh, using potassium metabisulfite uh, to add sulfur dioxide because that is what most folks are using to make additions. Um, and sulfur dioxide is an additive or preservative that's used in winemaking. Um, and a little bit about uh, the chemistry. We could do chemistry all day, uh, but we're really going to focus on the math today. So we're just going to give a quick background on the chemistry. Sulfur dioxide exists in three forms. We have a free, a bound, and the total. And the free is important because it provides the antimicrobial. Whoops, if I can spell. Antimicrobial action and also acts as an antioxidant. The bound portion is unavailable to protect wine. It, um, when it's added, will bind with different constituents such as anthocyanins or um, uh, sugars or proteins or other things in the wine. Um, so it'll be bound up and unavailable. But it's important because it's part of the total and we care about the total because the Alcohol Tax and Trade Bureau, uh, who regulates the wine industry, has a legal limit for total SO2, and that's 350 ppm. And a couple notes uh, about units. PPMs is parts per million. And we hear that often uh, when we're talking about wine, especially when we're talking about uh, sulfur dioxide, a lot of times uh, we talk about it in terms of parts per million, but you also may see it um, in milligrams per liter. And the important thing to know or remember is that one ppm is equal to one milligram per liter. So those are um, interchangeable units. Um, so just be aware uh, and remember that we're going to use milligrams per liter in our equation example because then we can cross out our units and and make it nice and neat in our equation but a lot of times so2 is referred to in parts per million as well a couple other things we're going to need to know is uh, grams to milligrams conversion so one gram is equal to a thousand milligrams we often see that as grams over milligrams like that uh, for shorthand and then also um, one gallon is equivalent to 3.785 liters. So we'll use that in our equation as well. So just a couple points on units that we're going to need to know. All right, so when we're doing a sulfur dioxide calculation, there's a couple things that we need to know before we can make an addition. The first thing we need to know is the pH of the wine. And we can use this handy chart I have here on the screen to find our target amount that we need to add based on pH. I should note here, our desired free SO2 in parts per million. This determined by researchers that the desired free SO2 based on your pH is what's required to obtain zero point eight ppm molecular free SO2. So basically the free SO2 exists in three forms, the free portion. Um, and the molecular form is what provides the most uh, protection to your wine. So this handy chart just tells you how much free SO2 you need to add to obtain this 0.8 ppm molecular. So that's why this chart is handy um, for that. 
And so then the other thing we need to know is our current amount of SO2 and the wine we're going to make the add for. Uh, and we need to know the free SO2. So we have our target that we find on our chart based on our pH minus the current amount that we have in our wine. We'll end up with the addition that we need to make. All right, something else we need to keep in mind. Um, I mentioned at the beginning that SO2 is often added using potassium metabisulfite. Uh, or KMBS for short. And you can see the chemi chemical formula here is uh, K2S2O5. KMBS, potassium metabisulfite, uh, consists of 57.6% SO2. And this is really important because it's not a one-to-one -one addition. If you add one gram of potassium metabisulfite, you're not adding one gram of sulfur dioxide. If you take a look at the molecular weights of each of the chemicals in the compound, um, the SO2 makes up 57.6% by weight of the whole compound. So that's important to remember and we're gonna um, have a factor in our equation here to account for that fact. So our equation is going to be the mass of KMBS to add is equal to the addition we need to make. That's in milligrams per liter over 0.576, which is um, our 57.6% uh, in decimal form. And then times the liters of wine. And here we wanna remember that one gallon 3.785 liters and then we're going to have our conversion of one gram is equivalent to a thousand milligrams and so then that will make our final answer of the mass of KMBS we need to add in grams. So now that we have that equation there we can go ahead and take a look at our example. So we have a 300 gallon batch of wine with a pH of 3.6 and a free SO2 of 20 ppms. So we need to calculate the addition of KMBS to add. So first if we look at our pH of 3.6, our desired or our target is going to be 50. So we need to do our target minus our current to give us our addition. All right, our target is 50. Our current from our example is 20. And that leaves us with an addition to make of 30 ppm. All right, and remember that ppm is equivalent to milligrams per liter. So we're gonna use milligrams per liter when we put this in our equation. All right, so our mass, KMBS is equal to 30 milligrams per liter over our 0.576 to account for potassium metabisulfite containing 57.6 SO2. And then we're gonna multiply by, we have 300 gallons times 3.785 liters per every one gallon. And then our conversion factor of grams to milligrams is one gram and a thousand milligrams. So if we, oh, and we'll cancel our units here. We'll get rid of our gallons. So then we'll end up with liters. Clean the rest of it up down here. So 30 milligrams per liter divided by 0.576 will give us 52.1 milligrams per liter. And then 300 times 3.78 will give us 1,136 liters times one gram over 1,000 milligrams. We'll be able to cancel.
cancel out milligrams, we will cancel out liters, and our answer is going to end up in grams of KMBS. So we get 52.1 times 1,136 divided by 1,000 gives us 59.1 grams of KMBS to add. All right, so if we have a 59.1 gram addition of KMBS um, to 300 gallon batch, we reach our target of 50 ppms of free SO2. However, there's a caveat here. Some amount of our free SO2 is gonna bind. Remember we talked about the part, uh, there's free plus bound equals the total. So some amount of free SO2 will bind. The problem is we don't know how much. So there's a general rule that you can add an additional 30 to 50% more free SO2 to account for the unknown. So if we do that here in our example, we had 59.1 grams KMBS. Let's say we um, want to estimate that 30% is going to bind. So we're going to add 30% more. So we can take 59.1, multiply it by 30% in decimal form. So 0.3. That will give us 17.7 grams additional KMBS to add. So then we add 59.1 plus 17.7. And these are grams. So then we end up with a total addition, 76.8 grams KMBS to add to our 300 gallon batch of wine. Uh, and after we make this addition, uh, probably you wanna wait around 24 hours or so and you wanna measure to see what you end up with because you wanna make sure that you've hit your target uh, and then you can kind of see maybe how much bound and if you are still um, somewhere near uh, that target free SO2 for the pH of your wine. All right, so I've got one more quick little example we can do here. Um, in this example, the target minus the uh, current has already uh, been taken care of. So we know that a 35 ppm addition of free SO2 is needed for a 250 gallon batch of wine. Uh, we're going to determine, determine the amount of KMBS to add, and we're going to assume that 30% is going to bind. So we can start our equation here, mass of KMBS is equal to 35 milligrams per liter. That's our add. It's going to be over 0.576 factor, and we've got 250 gallons, and we know that there are 3.7 eight five liters per one gallon and then our grams to 1000 milligram conversion all right so if we do our math here 35 divided by 0.576 will give us 60.8 milligrams per liter 250 gallons times 3.785 liters per gallon gives us 946 liters and then our conversion factor here. So we end up with 57.5 grams KMBS to add. But then we also need to assume that 30% will bind, right? So if we make that assumption, we're going to times 57.5 by 0.3. That gives us 17.3 grams, 57.5 grams plus 17.3 grams gives us a total addition of 74.8 grams KMBS to add.
And again, you'll make that addition uh, and then check your free SO2 to make sure that what you intended to add was indeed added. Um, and then a general rule of thumb is to measure that free SO2 around once a month to make sure um, that it's staying up uh, to the range that it should be for the pH of the wine and make sure that too much is in binding or you're losing some um, somewhere else. Okay, that does it for sulfur dioxide. Thanks for watching this wine math video. If you have any questions about the math or the general wine topic we covered today, please feel free to reach out to us at wine at iastate.edu. And be sure to check out the other wine math videos to improve your math skills in the cellar. Thanks.